Tell us you, how was that building up to that? The prep leading up to it was pretty hard. We had a tough week of practice, but it was it was very good. We strained to finish, and that's what we were focusing on. And to give up zero sacks versus a very great defensive front, you know, my matchup was tough. I mean, I, I had two two great defensive ends that I seen last year, and they they just keep improving. Um, well, yeah, they were really good, man. My mental, probably, um, I would say my mental because last year, you know, I gave up sex and all that, and I, I would get a little down on myself, and then I go home and kind of like soak for a little bit, but but trying to get back to work. Right now, it's like if I give up a sack or a bad play, it's like you, you can't focus on that because it's it's really going to affect how you play for for the for the plays that come on. Yeah. How did you kind of change that? It's kind of something that that happened within myself. Um, because the the hatred that I got last year for for all the things that I was doing just made me want to n not mess up ever again, you know what I'm saying? And and to come in here and work every day, um, and, and book book was was one of those guys that helped me for sure along the way, um, just helping with my mental. It's like, bro, you got to push through. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be a really great player. So, so is that the kind of encouragement that you know? For, for those younger offensive linemen that are kind of experiencing this for the first time. Is this something that you give them? Is that something that you can kind of describe? I would say for sure. Like, I try to help them in any way. Like, the things that happen to me, I don't want to happen to them. So just trying to give them my insight to them and and just want to see them do the, do the best and have success. How much have you seen Elijah kind of grow? At it's, been, it's been really fun to see. You know, he's been been here for, for a while. Um, He's he's grown mentally, uh, strength wise, you know, strong strong person mentally, physically, um, and he's really focusing on doing what he needs to do to to change and change how he plays and, and get that success on the field. Whether it's for Elijah or whether it's for, I mean, in terms of what can a performance like the LSU game do in terms of his kind of growth and confidence. I to 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 know that you're going against a really great defensive front and not give up, give up any sacks versus those type types of guys it, it gives you a boost of confidence you know going into the next week and and for the the rest of the game honestly um because like I said like this it's not easy in so the SEC you, you mentioned the amount of kind of hate that you got last year mm -hmm. what about I mean especially over the past few weeks what about the love like how do you how do you, you know, we we definitely 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 appreciate it you know lo yeah. love our fans you know it gets it gets a little rough sometimes but you know, you just gotta look past that and and take take it into to a fact. Like you're gonna get hate, you're gonna get love. I mean, it is what it is. Treat it the same. Just move on with your day. How much? Uh, how much was your improvement? Just maybe getting those to speed. Do one game. Um, I would say going through practice really helped me a lot. You know, going against guys like Dallas Turner and and Chris Braswell, those those types of guys, Zebo, all all them types of guys. That, that get off the ball and, and are really going to push you. Um, that's that's what kind of got me up to speed. Um, just practice, practice, practice. You mentioned, uh, we talked to Tyler a couple weeks ago, he, he kind of mentioned you as someone he sees maybe stepping into his role from a leadership perspective. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the advice he's given you to kind of improve. What has he yeah. told you and how do you, how do you kind of try to go? What, what I see from, from what he says from that is, is kind of just being a vocal vocal leader to these guys. I obviously last year, even though you can lead as a freshman, and w whatever grade you're in, I, that that really wasn't me. I tried to lead by example, and that's kind of what I kind of do right now. But looking into like next year, not not really looking too forward ahead, but like just talking more to the guys and and letting them know what they need to do, help them improve, and want to see see them do good. You guys have a tradition out of the offensive line when you walk around the field. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How did that kind of start? And, you know, how did that help you get? Started? Hey, I don't know. I, I just came in, and I, I seen Book, JC, all of them walking around the field, and I just followed. You know what I'm saying? It's I, I feel like it's something that w was way beyond our time. So I'm just continuing. The, Does that help you kind of get you know centered and stuff before a game, just taking the environment and stuff? Um, I would I would say for sure. You know, we we have. And our headphones on, kind of getting locked in, getting that first feel of the field, your, your feet on the field, um, kind of walking around, getting getting the view of the venue. So, yeah, so it gets locked in. How were you able to stay out of some third and long situations this past Saturday against LSU that you had, maybe in other environments, and how much did that help you all have success? 
you, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, especially in the SEC versus fast guys off the edge and, and, and the different fronts that they show on third and long. It's really hard to pick that up, you know, us as, as us five being one. Um, staying out of those is, is definitely great. I mean, obviously want to run the ball, get first downs, and, and stay out of those situations because those are definitely the toughest to go against. Just just taking time off um, and, and really tapping into my mental and, and really thinking about what I really need to do to, to get right. That's really it. Uh, it. It's been great. You know, he's he's helped me mentally, physically, on the field, off the field, and like anything, it's, it's just like a brotherhood for life, you know, um, and, and I'm going to love him for that. A lot of people have talked about how his leadership has kind of stepped forward the past couple of weeks. What areas uh, definitely vocally, um, getting getting on everybody. That's 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 something you need to do. You know what I'm saying? If if the coach isn't enough, I mean, you you got a book on you. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's gonna he's gonna make sure everything's straight. A uh, little bit, just like even the little things like jogging to the line. Like that's that stuff is important. You know what I'm saying? You have to get to the line, get to the ball, get set, ready to play. You know what I'm saying? There's no there's no plays off. Well, they, they always say coach-led teams are, are good teams. Player-led teams are great teams, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's just what I think about that. You're, you're going to war and battle with, with these guys every single day. So, you know, like the coach, coaches can't go out there and do it for you. So, so it's, it's just a different perspective. Yeah. What's the, what was that like, and how did you pull that off? I mean, all I'm thinking is is just playing football. Honestly, um, I'm I'm thinking I'm I'm gonna have 11 on my own. They both they both come out to the to the C gap. Just stick stick the arms out. Honestly, ain't, ain't nothing going through my mind. You know. Yeah, that's it. As an offensive line, um, how does it change things for you as a tackle? When you guys are on the clap versus like on the leg. Oh, it's 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 hard, man. Um, when you're we're in those tough environments and you got to focus on the ball, focus on the man, focus on the blitzes, and all that is is, is really tough. Um, especially being the furthest away from the ball and not really getting that getting that vision. You know, we have to look out of peripheral, so it's pretty hard. Yeah, I mean. Like, does it change a whole lot for you as a tackle? I mean, obviously, like, books looking between his legs is one thing. Yeah. How does it change things for you? Um, I would say if if I had like a pressure pressure on the edge, like a corner blitz, or 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 a linebacker plug, that's that's hard to see when you're trying to look straight ahead and and look at look at your peripheral and try to see the ball. And and also get on your man. It's, it's, it's pretty tough. It gets hard out there, especially when you can't hear nothing. <laughs> Um, just just do everything we need to do. Treat it, treat it like a, just another week. You know what I'm saying? Do what we need to do. Um, just carry on. Yeah. We don't we don't we don't really focus on too much doing that. We we haven't done that. It's just looking at the scouting report. And, and just doing what we need to do day by day. It's just another game and another tough opponent. I mean, this is a tough defense. They're a really good defense, so you can't take that lightly.